pick up. This is your restaurant. Yeah. Okay, so she has uh, pretty good feet. That's a nice looking foot. It is. We've been doing HGM for four months. We've been doing HGM for four months. She has a very clear ridge, yes. and her toe is still too far forward. Okay. Um, so we, we'll come back more. Teresa, can you see? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You're a good girl. Yeah. So what, did you trim that frog like that, or did it No, grow? it's growing like that, but it's going to start ripping. Okay. She had a very um, narrow frog. And it's it widened out here, but as you can see, it's ripping off right yeah, there uh -huh. and going to become more normal. Okay. That's just how she happened to recuperate. Okay. So this is a pretty normal foot. Uh, you can see this was small here is higher above the sole than this. Uh -huh. And this one has grown outward okay. away from the wall. And this one has gone straight up. Uh -huh. So this is the issue. And so we're going to trim the high side down to match the low side. In height above the sole, not width away from the sole at this moment. Okay, so you do that all around, not just in the heel, even on the side. You match if there's wall, yeah. yeah, and I do match, in other words, draw an invisible line down the center, mm -hmm. and this wall height above the sole should match this wall height above the sole. And then we're going to bevel some toe. You're doing that at the same time. Right? Yes, you, you don't have to do it at the same time. It's just now, easier. I don't see a ridge on there, do I? Yes. Yeah. yeah, well, you see, actually, now that you see... A faint, okay, now I got Very it. faint. Very yeah. faint. But yeah. we can, because her feet are so healthy, we can honor that. So, oh, she's so fat. Look at that fat lump. <laughs> <laughs> well, from here you can see it. It's like a giant lump. Okay. I had to use a bigger version That will not help your horse's feet. If you want your horse's feet to be healthy, mm. put them on it, make them look normal. You should be able to feel a rib, and you can't. You don't have to see them, but you do have to know they're in there. Well, we built her a track last year. Yeah, I was going to say, don't, don't ask me. Well, you me. can just cut, you know, if you're feeding hay, you can just get a lower quality of hay. Because the fat horse doesn't really need all that extra. Well, that's part of the problem. That hay I bought, I didn't look at. I just bought it from the same field, and it was a whole lot richer than the year before. Yeah, and that happened. It was probably drought hay. No, it was just before the drought. Oh, that's good. Oh, just a second. So I trimmed here, and I'm just going to blend in the heel quarter to what I trimmed. Because mm -hmm. we don't want a lump. Now, this toe capsule is still sliding forward, though, right? Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. actually pretty pretty forward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's probably... Yeah, I'm you can say, feel you this can almost dead, see. Yeah, right, there. right here. Yeah. That's where her foot wants to yeah. be. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So good eye. So on, on this horse, you would wait another four or five weeks before doing anything else? I would. I Yeah, I would. And it's been five weeks, hasn't it? Four and a half. Four and a half, yeah. She could have gone longer. Um, so how I did it was, this is height above the sole, and this is height above the sole, you see? Mm -hmm. But it, this, because it slants out a little, mm -hmm. I, it's a little wider. Look at it as I start riding. Good. Yes. And she wants, then she's going to take back her own toe, because it was all in the front. So I'm just taking off that ragged edge very lightly with my smooth side. You don't want to get bumped in the nose. You can tell that your, your frog is turned. Mm -hmm. And I would guess, because her, her foot is going the opposite way of her, than it looks like it's going, that her foot is actually straight mm -hmm. and it's been trimmed. You can see that this side is much Wider. higher than the side and flared out. Mm -hmm. And you can feel that. If you run your finger down, you can feel it bail out there. Mm -hmm. Whereas this side is straight. So she's working on something. She's working on something. You can see right here in this dip mm -hmm. where she really wants her toe to be. Mm -hmm. That's what that is. She has a nice big frog. It's actually mm -hmm. and it's it hard. And it's getting bigger, so that's good. It's getting thicker here. It's kind of weak right here in the thing. But it will improve. So I start in the heel quarter. Let me put in my double. Oh, wait. Good girl. Good girl. And then you can't, this toe is not going to have height at the toe when I double. So I'm not worried about trying to save it. 
is not going to be there. And then she's kind of worn that one, so we're going to skip that area and move on. And we'll fix that with the rest, but she's already worn that herself. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're just going to come up to that heel. Now this heel... And you really leave that alone, the heel. Well, I'm going to trim this heel because okay. you can see how it's a little... A little bit, yeah. Okay. yeah. So I'm just going to make okay. it match the, the other heel. And I'm going to blend that in. just going to blend that in with a couple smooth rests. Mm -hmm. Just so we don't have a bump. Mm -hmm. uh, but that still is taller than the rest of the foot above the sole. It, and it needs to be. If she didn't want it there, it wouldn't be there. It would be down on the sole. So we just blend in what she did with what I did, smooth that a little. And normally, I don't, you don't have to make it all that pretty. Just do it because people are watching me. <laughs> you have an audience. Yeah, I don't. When I get it smooth, I don't make it exceptionally smooth. I just finish. Wait, I can't see anything. I can't see. I can't see. Ho. Oh. Right. So she's got to come down about half of what she is. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, can I? Um, now you have. Now she doesn't have a very big bump. But this is what I get. I get a lot more here. Am I? Am I too? Go steep? back. Am I too steep in my angle? With it? You probably should go back. What do you mean go back? I would go back. Which take one? Take more off. Take I would more. take more off. When they get this, when they get this here, a lot of times I take it off. That's what I've been doing. But uh, then I get this little. Soul bump sticking out. Somebody else said they had that happen too. Who does? Miga, that right, we didn't. We're going to see that. Okay. Mostly. All right. Good. On her, I wouldn't. I would mess with it because it's not very small. And sometimes it's a keratoma. Sometimes there's a little tumor in there. Mm -hmm. So hers is very minimal, and I expect it to disappear by itself. I have seen horses with big ones, and I take it off. Yeah, why would you expect it to disappear if her toe is still him. forward? But her toe is still forward. If right? her toe comes back, it's going to disappear. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. The toe coming back will make okay. it go away. So you're saying because that one side of the heel Not is... Not going to disappear next week. Yeah. But yeah. as the toe comes back, it'll go yeah. past here. See, because her toe really wants to be behind here. See this, see yeah. this dip right mm -hmm. here? That's where her toe wants to be. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And the flare on this side of her heel versus the other side is just something in there is adjusting, he says, exactly. in there. So you just see something that's it's kind of odd. Just leave it be and let just it resolve. Leave it be. Mm -hmm. and let just it resolve make sure itself. That both sides match. Height wise, right? Height wise above the sole. Let me throw a monkey okay. wrench out there again. I, was, I understand the Wait. needles coming back on their own, but how does the toe now come back on its own over the next few weeks after this trim? It'll get a, the, the ridge will move back. The ridge will, in other words, after this trim. Oh, I took a two, but I'm not going to fix that. If you take, if you use your nipper and you make a deep cut, do not fix it because you have to take it off way too much. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't hurt anything. It's just not attractive. I'm going to leave it. So just like in a dog toenail that's too long, you, you trim it back and the quick keeps re retracting. And then right. as the quick right. retracts, back you can get the toenail shorter. Yeah. So after this trim, in four weeks, she'll have a new ridge further back from the toe okay. that will bevel. And that's, it's just an iteration of. Trim, ridge moves back, trim, ridge moves back, trim, mm -hmm. ridge moves back until there's no ridge. It's just a sole white, white line wall. Yeah. And then you know okay. it's where it belongs. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. Seeing it in real life helps a lot. It does. Yeah, yeah. 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 It yeah. Does. Pictures don't do it justice. No. Right? You just don't want to, you know, rushing it does not rush it, it delays it. That's, and if you get the hoof on the hoof stand, mm -hmm. you can make it symmetrical. In other words, don't look at that, what a sad face. So hers is a little crooked, I can tell. And I'm not going to, you can see this side flares. Mm -hmm. And this side was so a little high, so I took this high side off. Mm -hmm. Just so it will break over better. But you don't have to, that's just, mm -hmm. just a no So if you look at the foot from the outside, does it tell you any? I mean, do you? Oh, yeah, it tells me a lot, but I'm not telling you guys. Okay. Because <laughs> what will happen to you? Because you go, oh my God, my horse is doing this. Because uh -huh, okay. it doesn't matter. This is a symptom. Okay. Anything you see on the outside is a symptom of what's going on inside. I mean, I can look, I can tell when people change feet. Because the toe will be more angled than it should be from the last time I was there. More shallow. Uh, you can tell if the horse is foundered. You can tell if the horse. It doesn't really toe in. I mean, you, you have to see the picture. Well, you don't have to see the picture, but I mean, it helps to see the picture to know if you're making progress or not, mm -hmm. if the horse is fixing it. 
but it doesn't matter what it looks like out here because this can be, you can have a horse whose foot looks like that, mm -hmm. and yet if you look at their pastor, are you itchy? If you, the hoof can look perfect. No, it can look just like that, and even better. The pastern, however, will tell you. Sometimes you'll see a horse whose pastern is like out here, and points this way, instead of down here, point that way. And what that tells you is inside, even though the hoof capsule looks all nice, mm -hmm. the coffin will point down. Mm -hmm. And that's common. If that happens on sound, like that mare. Yeah, she is very close to being like that because you can file that hoof capsule and you can make it look good inside. She's still pointing down. Mm -hmm. So you, the hoof capsule is interesting but not critical. The body Because even two-year-old coats who've never been trimmed, you know, they'll fight you on the front feet, and then you get to the back foot, and they're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> if you do it this way, I mean, they like to just rest their foot. They don't like to be hiked over your hip, because yeah. I wouldn't like it. I'd have a cramp. If I now, that frog is, is flat. flat. There's no visible central salt. It's right swelling. here. I mean, you see it, but you don't worry about cleaning it out or doing Well, keep I don't. Keep Her owner does. Out of there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And it's flat and Her it's owner will go, oh my god, there's a hole there. <laughs> and then pick at it. Make and it then pick at it. Okay. <laughs> I don't even look. Okay. No, I don't care. Unless it's like a big crack. I mean, if there's a crack, if there's a crack here that you can get your hook pick in, that's bad. But I don't, I don't poke my hook pick into things that don't, don't need a hook. So what do you do if there's a crack there? If there's a crack there, they have an infection. Mm. If ah. there's a crack that you, that you can mm. see or get a hook pick in, there's an infection and you need to treat it. Now, you haven't even mentioned anything about frog trimming because you never trim the frog. I only trim the central, something if it's clogging the central sulcus. Okay. Or, you know, if, if, you, if this is peeling up because it was stretched mm -hmm. and it's, if I could rip it off with my hand, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll cut it off. Or almost rip it off. And what hand. if it's as tall as the, the mm -hmm. hoof wall? But that's fine. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Okay. Leave it alone. This foot has, you can see how low the heels are. They couldn't be any lower. Mm -hmm. And when was the last time they were trimmed? Oh, the heels? The heels? <coughs> Other than to level them, they've not been lowered since, since four, weeks, four months. Yeah, four months. Mm -hmm. Notice how they don't grow? They sit there in their happy spot. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to leave them right there. She just barely needs a trim. This wall is just a little bit higher than I would like it. Although, if your horse, if you trim your horse, and your horse looks it, and you take some off and then they're sore, don't take it off next time. Because some horses need a little more wall to be happy. But her toe, you know, seems to be happy. She's got a pretty big foot. So her toe is probably happy there. So I'm just going to level, just make it match both sides and do a bevel. Because it really doesn't need much work, as you can all see. So if I wasn't talking and showing stuff, that I'd already been done 20 minutes ago. Because this is like a five minute trim job. It doesn't have to be a lot of work. Wait, wait. So I'm just going to start here. Wait, I'm almost done. She says, you've been talking and talking. They don't like you to take time when you trim. They're like, hurry up. It was just a little higher on this side than the other side. So I'm going to take a little more off of this side. Would you stop it? She bounces her foot. There you go. So you can see her inner wall is a little crooked right there. You can see that. You'll see weird stuff and just ignore it. That's just the way her is. Just the way she is right now. She, in four weeks, she could have a totally different look at So we don't care what it looks like as long as we make it where it's supposed to be. Wait, I'll do it. Yeah. 45 is good, but people go more than 45. And then if you're, if you're on the top and you see a big lump here, you know, you can take that off. You can make it like your own fingernail when you're on the top. If you see a lump sticking out like there was one right there, you can take that off. Lift. Good girl, good lifter. <laughs> ah. But it actually has a ridge. Mm -hmm. And if you can see it, it's very faint. But if you took your finger, you could feel it. So we're gonna probably back this toe. 
Are you watching? <laughs> she's looking. I kind of thought, well, there's she's not watching. About it. She says, This is different. She's different than my mom. She talks too much. <laughs> so her feels are perfect. Her bars are perfect. Nothing to, you know, nothing to come off. This wall height is pretty ideal. I'm just going to take it down a smidgen. And then I'm going to bevel this toe more than I beveled further back than I beveled the other foot. Can I ask you a quick question? Sure. You to when you're checking the height above the sole at uh -huh. the heels, do you check? No, here? not there. No. That's a good question. Because you say good above question. The sole, height above. above the sole, right here in the seat of the corn. Okay, so in that triangle. Right in the triangle. The okay. sole right next to the wall, right there. Okay. That should be higher than the sole. A little she bit. Might it be should be a quarter of an inch if you are trimming. I'm not going to. I'm not going to trim that, and it's probably exactly a quarter of an inch. Okay. But it can go lower, and that's fine. But not, go she has to do it. <laughs> but no, I don't like his method. Although it's no worse than anybody else's. It's better than some. But he does start with the heels. <laughs> so I don't like him for that. Mm -hmm. now, hold on. now I'm going to a little more off right here. Yeah, you can see it in the right now, how there's a, how there's a ridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you get, your eye will get trained. Yeah. It will see it. And so do your ridge, do your bevel one stroke at a time so that you don't take off too much. Mm -hmm. And so you don't think it's 45, but it's close to 45. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you think of it as less, to, think, to do it right, do it as less. Wait. Yes, right. <laughs> That's right. Luckily, the toe is very forgiving, as opposed to the back of the foot's not forgiving at all. <laughs>